Lombards vs. Mercia, Baylor vs. Dark Globe. Agony, one vs. one championship. The map is Beskanon. For the merchants, we have select spearmen up front, four of those. Then we have select archers, four of those. We have thanes, good sword unit. Uh, let's see, we have four thanes and a royal thane on the flank, backed up by axes, feared axemen, and select axemen. We have some horsemen. And royal companions. Very standard merchant stuff this. For the Lombards, we have Lombard Lancers, uh, two of those. One Gestalt Guard. Then we have Lombard Axes on the flanks here, Swordsman, Swordsman, a center of Gestalt Swords. And a few Swordsmen. So, uh, center we have Archers, standard Archers. And um, the Lombards, the Lombards slightly more versatile, I'd say, than the Mercians. The Mercians do infantry really well. They have a lot of good infantry. The Lombards, they have decent sword infantry. They have cheap swords, cheap axes, but they also have shock cab, archers, clubs, Lombard two uh, Lombard clubmen here. And the Lombard Clubmen, they're not, um, they have a 10 bonus versus infantry, but if they, if they go into shield wall, they get a 20 bonus. And they can be a very nice unit for plugging a gap in an infantry line. If, uh, let's say that it goes to shit with an axe unit fighting a Thane, well, if you send in the Clubmen uh, in shield wall, they could turn that one around relatively quickly. Moving up here. The Mercians have a good position on the hill. Slight elevation advantage here for the Mercians. And there is really no way for the Lombards to turn that one around. Um, no way for them to engage where they can get a terrain advantage. Here we have the select archers starting to fire. Um, the archers dropping relatively quickly here. They haven't managed to fire yet. Firing downhill just makes your archers kill shit a lot faster. And these archers still pushing up, but they are in a very compact formation. And being in a very compact formation like this means that they are going to be a lot easier to hit. Look at how quickly they drop. And w when you focus fire like this... Uh, let's see, the no shield wall for the Thanes, I wonder why. Because if you use shield wall, it gives you an increased missile block chance. Shield wall is essential in many aspects of Charlemagne. So here, move, here come the swordmen moving up on the flanks, going into shield wall here. Let's see if the cavalry can do anything about that. The horsemen charging into the axis here. Um, doesn't look like things are going to go too bad for the Lombard axis. Uh, since they are in shield wall here, they are significantly sturdier, and um, access in shield wall is a scary prospect. Here come the Thanes charging in. The Thanes are not in shield wall, so this is very good use of shield wall. Using all of these cheap Enemy units, units moving them up in shield wall, eating a cav charge, and um, starting to kill a few units. Nice rear charge by the Lombard Lancers there. They are going to lose men on the disengage So when you use cavalry you have to be able to you have to be sure that you're going to be able to use them decisively Because using cavalry uh, and having to pull them out you're going to lose a lot of men Now the select spearmen chasing away the archers here very important the gestalt swords are not joining the fight at the moment There are a quite a few Lombard units here in the fight already. The Lombard Axemen didn't lose that many men to the Cav Charge. Uh, being in the shield wall here has allowed them to stem the tide of the Thanes. Select Spears. And here come the here come the Feared Axemen charging in. 
flaming ammo dropping on the Lombard Lancers. The Lombard Lancers are going to drop very quickly indeed. But look at the feints here. From two rear charges from these Lomb uh, Lombard Lancers, uh, they are starting to break together with the flaming ammo from their own men. So, very, uh, very risky there to use flaming when you have your own horsemen and your own infantry on the verge of breaking in the fight. The uh, Royal Companions here chasing after the Lombard Axemen. The Lombard Axemen do not want to fight Royal Companions and I don't blame them. The Lombard Lancers finishing off the horsemen down here, about to get wrecked themselves. The men are broken and running for their lives. Got a few kills there, nothing major. The Lombard Axes rushing in to stop the Thanes here. Looks like the swords are going to try to go for a rear charge. Not the shield wall, they're going to get flanked by these select spears. Nope, they do turn around. The select spears get the downhill charge on these swordsmen. And the swordsmen are losing decisively on the charge. The select spearmen are getting back up from the select axemen. Things are not going to go well for the Lombards over there. Uh, the Thanes, once again, not using shield wall. And these Gestalt swords are not using shield wall either. They're being piled in without being in shield wall. But these Thanes are not in shield wall either, and these swordsmen over here are in shield wall, so they're getting a lot of killing done. Lombard clubs being very sneaky here, getting into the back lines of... Uh, getting into the back lines of the merchants. And the Royal Companions are taking a beating from missile fire. They're getting shot at in the rear now from these units over here, I believe. Got the clubs off the field. But still, these select archers are firing point blank into their own general units. They're killing a significant amount of their own men here. And these engagements, we have the Gestalt swords and shield wall, so they're going to be able to get a significant amount of kills and grind it out very well. The Royal Thanes here, not in shield wall. Uh, the Gestalt swords are in shield wall, so the Royal Thanes are are winning decisively, but they're trading worse than they would be if they were also in shield wall, giving them 60 melee damage. And these archers are very important now for, for the Lombards, being able to zone, off, zone out the royal companions. Have to be very careful now, the uh, merchants, because they, they are about to lose their general. Uh, I don't see any way that Mercia can, can turn this around, really. When you bring Royal Companions, they are great for, for hammering hammering the enemy center and holding your own center. But the, the uh, danger is if the Royal Thanes get stuck fighting cheaper units and the numerical superiority of the, of the Lombards come into play. Here we see the Lombard Axemen charging into the, the Royal Companions and actually killing the enemy general there. So... Uh, very dangerous these axe Our units in, in the late game the this is a shameful display continuing into the select archers uh, this, there really is nothing that Mercia can do now Mercia is heading for chain route city the Lombard Lancers are wheeling around and going for the select archers Um, this is the way you want to use shock cap. Engaging wavering enemy units. Breaking them instantly, getting a lot of kills. The Royal Thanes losing uh, losing their morale due to army losses. A valiant defeat there. So so uh, Dark Globe was defeated by Baylor of Agartha there. Uh, like this this uh, Lombardian army, if you look at the amount of melee troops, it's, it's quite staggering. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 melee units. Whereas the Kingdom of Mercia brings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 melee units. Uh, that's, that, that was an issue in this battle for the Kingdom of Mercia. Because the Kingdom of Mercia relies on infantry to, to uh, break the enemy army. However, in this particular case, the Lombards didn't necessarily... Ma uh, didn't, didn't necessarily outmatched them in terms of quality because the the kingdom of mercia had these royal thanes but 
uh, there were shield walls were being used here a very nice push on the flank with lombard axis and shield wall you can see they did very well even though they got charged by cavalry and uh, even these cheap swordsmen when they're popped in shield wall and they're in a mixed engagement they can do exceptionally well strength and order <laughs> 